Okay, guys, welcome to Glitter Buzz Style. And uh, if you watch the daily log, coronavirus daily log, you know, I braided my hair. But I wanted to do a video that just talked about what I did to my hair. Um, I am not a girl that does braids. It's usually not a style that I do. Um, I'm all about just getting a roller set and having, you know, my hair, um, washed, deep conditioned and rollered and take the roller out and bounce, 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 bounce. And I go to the salon only. So since we're under a stay at home order, I have been doing my hair myself. I got braiding hair prior to um, our stores closing. So the hair that I got, I, I'm not a pro at braiding. It's not something that I do. It's not my area. Like, um, you know, those who do it, they do a wonderful job. It's just not my thing. I'm into my fashion and I do my skincare like that. Those are my areas that I know. So um, I wanted to do something that was going to be simple and not like give me a headache. So I figured I will try braiding. So the first experience was just a hot mess. It was like it took me hours to finish and um, it was just a nightmare. I didn't know what the heck I was doing. My braids looked a mess. I mean, some of you who are good braiders, you're probably looking like, well, those braids don't look like anything great either. But I'm not a braider, but I try. So I didn't know what hair to get. And the lady there was telling me what the girls get, you know, for their hair. But I also tried like another brand um, based on color. I would never buy the brand again because it was just really cheap and like I said I didn't know what the heck I was doing so the cheap hair thing that I got usually I was getting the hair at Sally's I think it's like two dollars two fifty two ninety nine and that hair is hold on God okay so that hair is this right here I had the light in the back so you can really see so like I said I don't know I just figured I'm gonna try braids Sally's two ninety nine it's cheap matches my hair color whatever hair is it it's soft but it's just like i mean it, it once it gets messed up it gets messed up i saved it because i don't know when we're going to be done with this order i saved it but it's not the best hair anyway so i went to the store and got went to a better store like a real beauty supply store so the bad hair that i got from the beauty supply store i think it was like $2.99 something like that so I only got this this is Janet collection which I like and this is jumbo braid um, interface I don't know the color is M1B27 okay I don't know I just know it matched my hair and yeah so I got this right here it's like $2.99 in that bracket, or $3. It wasn't a lot. Um, and I just picked this because of the color. So the color is, you see that light right there? That's what I picked. Um, I picked that because I just wanted to try the color out. So that's why I went cheap. Okay, so the hair quality that the lady said that all the girls were buying for their hair is this one here. Now, some of you may get better hair. I, you know, good for you. I, like I said, I don't braid. So this, oh, this is Janet Collection again. Okay. And this is, it was like three bundles. Okay. So this one is like a value pack and it's pre-stretched because that's what you're supposed to get. That one wasn't, I can tell. Um, very lightweight. It was really nice. I mean, it was really great for what I was trying to do. 56 inch, um, long, as you can see, uh, you know, um, layered ends, feathered look. And the color of this, uh, it was a mixture of colors. Um, hold on guys. What is the color? No, was it a mixture of colors? No, it wasn't. That's a lie. It was like light like a brown it was like a brown it's in my hair right now it was, it, it, it's this color it's this color whatever that color is guys uh, i oh i think it's a four is it a four i think it's a four i think it's a four i think it's a four i'm sorry i'm unorganized um so it was 5.99 okay it was a four guys okay 
Okay, so I saved this so I can tell you easy text braid, extremely lightweight, antibacterial, itch free, non flammable. Okay, I've only had my hair like this for about two days. And this is the actual hair of the cheap one. I, I saved it because um, I don't have any more hair we don't open. So this was the color so it can match, you know, my my hair. And you see how it, you know, it, it, you know, looks like if you untangle it, it's just going to go all over the place. And the color is so pretty. I think they had this color in that brand, but it was like. I, I didn't, I, I think it was like two-tone or something, but I, like I said, I didn't know if that brand was good, so I just said, well, let me just get the good hair and then one cheap, you know, because I, I didn't know what I was doing. And then this is the good one, and I'm not going to untake, untwist this because, it, you know, it, I don't want to ruin it. So this is the four here, guys, so... And it's so, it is so easy to manage. So I think, you know, once I do my embryo transfer, because we're on hold with all this stuff going on, I'm not going to be like going to the salon and I'm going to just keep my hair in like this kind of look for the pregnancy. So I will be getting this hair. So I just want to show you what it looks like. And I have products that I use. I'll go show you that real quick. But, you know, if you're a beginner, just doing something to your hair for this stay at home order and you don't know what to do and you just try and I get a little dent there um you just got to try because the professionals do such a good job and um when you don't have your personal hair stylist with you you got to do what you got to do so I just so I did it myself um I wanted to do like a knotless type of braid and this is my way of knotless braid so this is the second time I've tried doing my hair like this guys I didn't want it in the middle I wanted it on the side because I like to do a part side so this is my look so just my natural hair I don't have anything in it I'm due to get like at least a touch up of a relaxer or something but I haven't done that so um yeah I'm gonna show you the products that I use for this look. Okay guys, so I forgot to press the record button, so I'm doing this late. So I use the Murray's Gel Lock uh, for uh, my braids. I use this like when I started to the started the braid, I applied this on my hair and um, I've been applying this on my braids just to keep it smooth and the straight hairs that usually come out a little bit and then I have this for the edges which is another Morris product and this is like an edge wax and um, I don't really care for this so much um, I feel like this it says it doesn't have residue but it does maybe I use a lot because I like to have my um, edges like you know slick down but I love this right here so much better the brush I used when doing my edges this little thing right here which I mostly just use this side I don't use the other side at all just this side and a lot of times I like to use this gel I love this gel and I like it better than the Murray's. So that's it. So those are the products that I use, guys. Um, like I said, I forgot to record, so I don't have my braids in right now. I don't have my braids right now. I took them out yesterday, blow-dried, flat iron. I look like this. And I'm waiting for new hair to come online because we're still a stay-at-home order. And that's that, guys. So... For more fashion and beauty, you know where to find me. I hope everyone stays safe and positive during the quarantine time. And that's it. Thanks, guys, for watching.